Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the Zodiac sign of Pisces. It will not resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Pisces placement that may be relevant to you. All contact information as well as the link to your romance specific reading are in the description box. And we're jumping right in. Messages for Pisces. This is going to be for the second week of October. Although time is not linear, we're all on different timelines. This could have already happened, could be resonating now, or it may happen, may resonate with you in the future. Pisces, one card out. What else does Pisces need to know? Second week of October. Okay, those two flipped out. Whoa. All right, what else do we have for Pisces? I'm also going to pull some Oracle cards for you at the end, just to give you some more guidance for the week, Pisces. Three more cards for Pisces, please. I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. Pisces. Hmm. That's a fire energy here in your past position. Definitely could be dealing with a fire sign. Lots of air energy presently. All right, very interesting. Bottom of the deck this week, we are looking at the Six of Wands. Victory, triumph, being admired, being given the roses for your hard work, your creativity. Um, this is like my roses while you're alive card, right? Being acknowledged for your what you bring to the table, what you bring to the world, right? Your vibration, your creative ability, whatever it is. You know, your great job at work. You know, uh, your spouse or someone admiring you for being beautiful, for being creative. All these things, whatever is special about you, this is definitely a time that you're going to be appreciated and admired. Definitely could be a public figure or something in the public eye. Uh, maybe you're finally putting your work in the public and you're getting amazing response. But whatever it is, you're definitely being, you're feeling on top of the world. Okay, you're definitely feeling on top of the world. Someone could be perceiving you as on top of the world, or this could definitely be you perceiving someone else. However it applies, you know your story. And we're jumping in. We're starting in the past position. Lots of fire energy here. Queen of Wands with the Emperor Aries energy. With the Emperor and Aries Leo Sagittarius energy with that Queen of Wands. But definitely, this seems like some sort of coupling energy for me. Doesn't have to be necessarily, but definitely this is, I'm thinking, you and someone else that has definitely been quite the pair, quite the match, right? Quite the match, almost like a match made in heaven, right? Emperor is that fire energy, the boss, someone with a lot of responsibilities, someone that can uh, really designate responsibility, not very cold and warm and not very warm and, cu and cuddly, I should say, but more cold, practical, controlled demeanor. But I mean, the, the Queen of Wands as his match is absolutely what he needs. This is probably one of the only suits that would allow the, the Emperor energy to really, you know, even be slightly somewhat gushy or, you know, tap into the emotions. Because the Queen of Wands is definitely someone that's very attractive, magnetic. You can al almost not resist whoever the Queen of Wands is represented for you, whether that is you or someone else. Whether it's a fire sign or just you having fire, some fire propensity or being influenced by fire energy very magnetic very attractive very almost irresistible okay this could definitely be someone else that you're finding this way however it applies but definitely quite a duo here quite a duo quite a match lots of butting heads too is kind of what i'm getting because i'm looking at her face like the way she's looking at him right and he's just looking for it but this is definitely giving me a couple vibe this could also be a some sort of partnership a work partnership maybe very creative energy here. This is like the boss and like uh, the creative muse, right? The muse, his muse. Definitely could be some work workplace romance situation going on for some of you, if that's the case, or someone maybe you worked on a project with, right? Definitely with some spark, some energy in that direction. In your future position, we're looking at a lot of swords. Queen of swords with the four of swords. So whatever this partnership, this connection was, whether it be work or romance for you, maybe there is some silence right now because I'm seeing you now turning more into this Queen of Wands energy, Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius definitely could be significant. 
maybe there was some sort of communication, whether on your behalf or whoever you were dealing with's behalf, because I kind of definitely get that this person maybe has gone silent on you. Whoever this emperor, emperor energy is representing has maybe definitely gone silent or a little withdrawn with the Four of Swords. Someone is definitely give, taking a break to think about things, to think about what they really want, right? Really meditating, connecting with one's higher self, but there's definitely a single, a single, a particular thing that this person has on their mind that they're thinking about, that they're re, you know, going over, hashing out in their head. You might not know this is going on. Definitely this could be you that is being thought of, but definitely you have turned into more of a cold energy, right? More logical space from something that was very fiery and steamy and magnetic before. It's become very logical based currently, right? Or you could just be anticipating maybe because of the silence or maybe because you haven't heard from this person. You're just kind of assuming that it's going to go left, right? But you'd be surprised maybe. Because I'm seeing here in the future position, the Five of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. So whether this is you or this is just an energy switch or whichever, this is definitely someone that wants to nurture something. Someone that usually a spouse card too. Aries is also, Emperor, sorry, is also a spouse card. So you definitely could be dealing with someone that was thinking about where they wanted to take this partnership. Right? While you're over here, maybe thinking the worst in your head, focus on all the past pain. Definitely why your perception might be automatically negative. I don't blame you, right? We don't hear from someone that we really like for a bit and we assume, obviously, or whichever, right? But I think it might end up being a lot better than you think. Someone needs to change their perspective here. It definitely could be you because I am getting it with these queens up here. There are lots of court cards in this reading, so definitely there could be multiple aspects involved or in place or, you know, multiple people. I definitely think there's somebody that has a lot of responsibility here, like a business or, you know, lots of things going on. So there definitely could be other people that's playing a factor in the situation. But I definitely just think it's different aspects of you and someone else. Starting off both very much on the same page, both in fire energy, both sort of acknowledging each other as a true pair on a spiritual level, at least. And then once that initial meeting, it turns very cold because someone withdraws, someone goes within, someone starts to really meditate on the connection, which leads the other person to turn more into a logical space instead of a more passionate based space. Right. And in your future, it definitely seems like someone wants to nurture something here, but someone might be focused on the wrong things or thinking that the situation is one thing when it's really another. Because if you can see the two of cups is behind his back with the Empress. So you might be really thinking of leaving the whole situation behind if this person takes too long to communicate. But I definitely think that there is going to be communication, especially with that two of cups behind his back. That needs to be realized and this queen of pentacles is very much nurturing energy also the wife and with the six of wands victory let's jump into some oracles pisces second week of october what do they need to know pisces one card for pisces please Don't assume. I think it's the past pain. This is probably going to be your final lesson before this can maybe come together. Pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. This is like one pig's fly, right? Definitely tying into this energy of the five of cups. I think because of all the past pain, whoever this is, this could be you. This could be the other person you're dealing with or someone that you're dealing with. Where there may be some sort of silence after initial, after an initial really good connection. And someone's assuming it's because... You know, the same thing happens every time. But this is saying, use your mind wisely. You'd be surprised. Instead of using your mind to think negativity, why don't you use your mind to think positivity and watch that happen? Might surprise yourself, right? Because you are the manifestor. You are the one creating your reality. This person is definitely watching you, though. Whoever is in the silent mode, whoever is representing the, the emperor energy, you're being watched. Someone is observing you, absolutely. I think someone is not sure how to approach. And I think that's what the break is about. Someone could definitely want to make you, you know, be in a committed relationship because Queen of Pentacles is very committed energy. And the Emperor is usually the husband. Because maybe you're going from the Queen of Wands to the Queen of Pentacles, which the Queen of Wands is usually a single energy, male or female. Does not matter. 
but you know, past hurt has you thinking the worst. Pisces, what do they need to know? I think you're in for a really nice surprise here with that use your mind wisely. Use your mind to think of the things you want, not the things you don't. Because at least when the bad things manifest, you can't blame anyone, right? Communication. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Gemini energy could be significant, but definitely Gemini is the rule of communication. So there absolutely is a conversation going to happen here. Someone is going to clear the air after some time of reflex reflection. Sorry. And I think whoever that whoever this emperor is, this person's got a lot going on. Definitely could be someone that owns multiple businesses or has multiple things going on. Don't assume the worst, Pisces. That's what the that's what the message is, I think. Do not assume the worst. Always assume the best. Because you're always in active manifestation. Even when it looks bad, assume the best. Use your mind wisely. When pigs fly, miracles can happen, in other words, with that when pigs fly card. Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. So definitely there's some other things that you're not seeing happening behind the scenes. Right? There's definitely some things going on that you are not aware of. But if you're drawn to something, there's a reason. And if you were initially drawn to this person, there's absolutely a reason. You guys are very much a pair. Whether that be in business, love, however it applies, friendship. Don't let this silence scare you into manifesting what you don't want right because someone's definitely a little bit silent here and the other person is assuming the worst straight into that queen of swords energy and you know the queen of swords she doesn't hesitate to cut things right off right but you may regret it if you do if you cut something off too prematurely i'm definitely getting there's a chance there might be some regret because it looks like whoever this is is contemplating making the situation a little bit more grounded a little bit more serious and committed right all right pisces beautiful reading for you this week i hope it resonates thumbs me up leave me a comment if it does and i will see you all next week